Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I want to talk about something that's going on in Taiwan. I'm going to switch to a screen share mode. Sorry, I'm not in a spot where I can record uh, video, but I want to bring you to this, I believe, very, very important story. Now, I've talked about Taiwan and what is happening there with the uh, buildup of the possibility of China moving in. I personally do believe we're going to see things going on in Taiwan. And the reason why is because of very interesting events, like the massive, massive blackout that happened about a week ago, uh, all kinds of logistical issues there. And now we are seeing, and this is just off of the hedge, I'm going to link the story below, but we'll go over it right now. And that is right here, a massive fire rocks, major grocery logistics center in Taiwan. Now, first off, I want to back up here. I believe that if uh, China does move in on Taiwan, it is going to absolutely be catastrophic for world markets, let alone be horrible for people in Taiwan. Um, but we have so much, uh, Taiwan exports so many things are so important to the world supply chain, but primarily what we're thinking about is looking at is the chip industry, the same type of chips that have caused massive issues with uh, brand new vehicles being produced, all kinds of things like that. Semiconductors are needed very desperately in the world. And what I believe we're going to see is a slow roll between Russia moving into Ukraine and China moving into Taiwan. And between not only the uh, the electrical uh, failure, the grid failure that went down about a week ago, this is very, very important, okay? Now, I can tell you from years of experience that a fire like this is suspect because you usually, you know, there's lots of things that could be combustible in these, these structures. However, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is a big deal. Let's, let's just start reading. Massive fire broken out in Northern uh, Taiwan Logistics Center for the eighth largest retailer in the world. Okay, now, now I want to explain something. The, you don't become the late eighth largest retail in the world by having your logistics center as a complete teardown, rundown old shack. Okay, these are very modern structures um, to be able to handle this type of logistics. Okay, so that's the first red flag. You know, when we see large, uh, large uh, commercial buildings like this burn, they are usually because they are in disrepair or their hazardous materials, things like that, right? But because of the newer style of construction, uh, it's very hard to see something like this completely go up. It says, um, they received the report early Monday as of, of a massive blaze at the warehouse. Um, this is absolutely massive. 73 firefighters, 23 fire trucks, and eight tanker trucks, four ambulances dispatched the scene, and I'm sure that was the initial dispatch. Um, the, the fire appears to have started on the first floor of a two-story structure, which is always worse when you're talking about structure fire because obviously the heat travels up. So, <coughs> excuse me, very fast, it will uh, travel to the upstairs and take the second story out. Whereas if the fire started on the second floor, uh, usually firefighters can try and contain it to the second floor and save the first floor. Um, but as you could see from this, this picture, how big the city is and how big this column is, this is a massive, massive structure. Now, what's very important is the type of structure this is. Um, this is a major grocery logistics center, okay? If a structure like this burns and is destroyed like it is right now, this, this is a total write-off. The, the structure is a, a full loss, right? The city or the country is going to have a very difficult time moving very vital food products, especially as we are seeing massive food inflation blowing up like crazy to a city and it is going to weaken the city's logistics, all right? Remember the most important part, let's go back to the Arab Spring. When the Arab Spring happened and there was an uprising and rioting, it was really on the heels of people having a hard time feeding their families. That is when we always see riots really really a movement move through is when you cannot feed your family and this is looking pretty suspect guys now you have electrical issues you now have food issues that you are going to start seeing massive massive food logistics issues all throughout taiwan when they start taking these kind of things out and i'm not saying this is you know you know done on purpose but you gotta you gotta admit this is an absolutely massive Mm, red flag. And if it wasn't done on purpose, 
this is going to bring Taiwan into a very serious situation when it comes to feeding their people. Even though they're not the largest, the eighth largest retailer in the world just lost a massive uh, facility. Okay, that's that many less trucks it can service. It's that much less food that they can get out to the people. These photos are just absolutely astonishing. If you, if you think about this from a logistical standpoint for firefighters, there's no way, there's no way that you could put this out. The amount of water needed, and you can see here, I'm not seeing a, a, a single truck. I'm not seeing a single ladder in the aerial device in the air dumping water on the roof. There's just no way they're not set up for this. Um, so I wanted to bring this to your attention because as we watch uh, these things unfold, I'm very concerned about the, the China and Taiwan situation um, and, and its effects on the world's economy. Quite frankly, we are a global economy and we have to be ready for uh, global events to shape every economic situation, no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you are listening to this. I want you to understand the global economy has now been split in half. We have Russia and China with their BRICS nations including Brazil and India, huge, huge countries, right, behind the BRICS nations versus Europe and North America. I believe that we are seeing the absolute dividing of the world's economy, and we are seeing the breakdown of the U.S. dollar being the reserve status and the upcoming possible SDR moving into a basket of currencies and to say that that is going to shake up the world's economic system i'm telling you guys i can't reiterate this enough be prepared so that you will not be scared and we have to be ready to take advantage of these situations in hopes that it's good people that are ready to take this wealth transfer and then do something good with it not only for your family and your friends, but for the world. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.